My name is Zoe Shiner and I was diagnosed with CPVT. I could not imagine life without the cardiovascular genetics program. I love coming here. I come here at least every six months for my appointment. The cardiovascular genetics program is a unique program that sits within the pediatric cardiology and adult congenital cardiology program here at Texas Children's. We're made up of predominantly cardiologists, advanced practitioners, and genetic counselors, and we have a real focus on all types of genetically mediated heart disease. Within cardiology, there's lots of kinds of genetic disorders that can occur. The four that we really focus on within cardiology are heritable aortic disease, which some people call aortopathy, congenital heart disease, which is caused by genetic disorders, genetic arrhythmias, and also cardiomyopathy. CPVT is genetic and it runs on my mom's side. And my mom's mom had passed away and my mom is currently in a nursing home um, and she is unresponsive. And I was early enough to catch it when I was 13. Dr. Miyake made my diagnosis. Because we have one of the largest centers in the country, it really allows us to have a volume of patients that um, is helpful in terms of treatment, management, and research, and in identifying, for example, new causes and new genes for patients that have, as of yet, unknown diagnosis. One of the focuses of our program that I'm particularly proud of and I have a special affinity for is a condition called vascular Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, or VEDS. It's about 1 in 50,000 to 1 in 200,000. So we're really fortunate to follow a lot of patients. I think we follow about 50 patients with vascular EDS right now. One of the things that makes vascular Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome unique and, and the most dangerous form of Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome is that patients are very susceptible to dissections and ruptures of the arteries as well as perforation of the bowels spontaneously without a vent or very easily with trauma. A lot of times we find patients because a parent has had a dissection or a rupture and has had a major event or has even passed away and they get genetic testing and we find they have it. And they, then they learn that the child is affected and so then we follow the children to try to prevent a, a major event. The goal of the genetic counselors here is to help our families understand, cope with, and adapt to living with a genetic cardiac diagnosis. Um, we really want to convey to them that the genetic testing or a genetic diagnosis really can be the key that opens the door to life-saving medical care for them. In the United States, there's about 5,000 certified genetic counselors practicing, and of that, um, the smallest proportions are genetic counselors who specialize in cardiovascular genetics. It's a very newly growing field and, and rapidly growing field. My name is Lorena Gonzalez. My son was diagnosed with Tango 2 mutations. When he's in his um, episodes, I wanna say, he has trouble walking, talking, even um, swallowing. Our group here at Baylor is uh, leading the research in Tango 2. Um, we've been able to identify patients uh, worldwide. Because there is no cure or treatment for Tango 2, what we've done is we've taken the patient's blood and we're able to create their heart cells and test different drugs. We can test and try to understand what's causing the heart rhythm. When we're not seeing patients, we're still actively working to benefit patients through our research. Our particular subset of patients in cardiovascular genetics in many ways um, are tied uh, together often by the rarity of their diseases. And having uh, a center like TCH where many of those patients can be seen uh, also gives them a sense of community. And the Texas Children's team created a space where we can combine our congenital heart and aortopathy expertise with state-of-the-art adult medical care to optimally care for this unique group of patients. Patients never have to transition from pediatric to adult care. Once you're a Texas Children's cardiology patient, this can be your medical home for life. I think the, the exciting thing about the, the cardiovascular genetics program here at TCH is its growth. Joining this program was very enlightening and educating experience for me in taking care of these children and how this disease processes tend to affect them as their lives progress. Specifically, children with aortopathies or connective tissue disorders. I think the families feel supported and they um, feel like they're um, well heard. 
The goal of our program is really to provide the most comprehensive diagnostics and comprehensive care for families throughout the lifespan and for all family members. If we really understand why is this patient getting sick, why is this patient having a rupture, why is this patient having heart failure, and we understand at a genetic basis, we are much more enabled to find the targets of these so that we can really treat our patients so we can make them better or prevent, perhaps prevent them from ever having a condition. I don't know what we would have done if we wouldn't found this program. I'm not sure he would be alive today without this team.